All right, so for this class structure one, uh, you guys' project, what you guys are going to do is you're going to create shapes. Okay, so I'm using Atom. You guys have it on there. It's a hackable text editor. Um, we will end up playing around with this. This is a way that you guys could actually type code if all you had access to um, was, say, your phone. Okay, so what we need for this class structure project is you guys are going to create shapes as separate classes. Shapes as separate. Helps if I spell right. Separate. There we go. Classes. All right. Now, for the shapes, you are going to do one for a rectangle, a square, triangle, circle, uh, 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 and that's it for now. Okay. In those, you are going to have to track what you need, but the methods that you guys are going to do is you are going to basically do a perimeter method, perimeter method for calculating the perimeter. You're going to do a area method for calculating the area. area. You're going to have some static methods for the shapes for the shapes to <clears throat> track the number of each shape that you create. Okay, so that's going to have to be stored within each class. Um, Okay, now I want in this program you to be entering data. So we are reviewing a lot of stuff in from class one. What you guys are going to do is you guys are going to create a while loop loop that is asking for inputs. Okay, that you are going to use to create that shape. So the user is going to say, I want a square, and then you're going to ask for the dimensions based off of what it is. So you're going to have to have you're going to have to have um, basically either a switch statement or an if else if ladder based off their input to create those shapes. You are then going to um, print out the area and the perimeter for that shape. Okay? To determine which shape to create. Okay, and then you're printing out, out the shape, the area, and the perimeter. Actually, we want the shape. We want the dimensions that were given to. All right, so you guys are going to have to pay attention to public and private. You're going to have to use getters and setters. 
to get the dimensions that you put in there. You're going to have to use the methods to determine to get the area and the perimeter for those shapes. You're going to print them out and then once that's finished, you're going to display the total number of that shape. So if they ask for a triangle and they did it, you're going to create the triangle. Okay. And then you're going to display how many triangles were created. At this point, that's all that we're going to do right now. Okay. So to summarize, you are creating multiple classes. You're going to end up having four classes that you're creating outside of the main. One for rectangle, square, triangle, and circle. And each of those you're going to have uh, instance variables holding the dimensions. You're going to have uh, methods created for determining the perimeter and the area of each of those shapes. You're going to have static or class variables for the number of shapes that uh, are created for that particular shape. So the rectangle class is going to hold a method for how many rectangles were created. You're going to have to have getters um, for pulling that information that you set as private. And then in your main class, you're going to have a, a while loop uh, set up for asking for the inputs uh, and what shape they want. And then you're going to create it using a switch statement or an if else ladder. You're going to finally print out the shape dimensions, the area and the perimeter of what was done and to, dis and to display the total number of shapes that were created of that type. All right? Okay. Have fun.